Hi, it's Luther here at the Explain Our Golf Studio, and I just want to talk to you about one of my favourite teaching words, and that word is swish. So where does that come from? Well, I tell the story about a shepherd on the beach at Musselburgh hundreds of years ago, bored out of his tiny mind, and he starts clunking pebbles along the beach at Musselburgh, and he's using his shepherd's crook turned up. And just to pass the time, he's just clunking pedals along the beach. And there comes that an element of timing. He didn't want to break the shepherd's crook, nor did he want to miss the pebble. Somewhere between thump and nothing is his magical word swish. Can you hear that? It's a lovely sound, it's a light sound, and there's a lot going on that produces that. So when you produce the swish sound with the club face, you start to get flight into the golf ball. So when I hear the word swish, I'm thinking of a creative, fast movement. The club head is moving quickly by virtue of the right hand. And if there's a thump and you hit the ground, no power goes into the ball. Or if you hit the ball above the equator, no trajectory is created, no flight. So there's a very precise sound swish. It's creative, but it just shaves the ground as you come through. You'll be shaving the grass on a real golf course or the after turf just here. Now, the better the timing of the swish, the further the ball flies. Ah, sadly, we didn't get that one on the monitor. I'll go again. Load and swish. It's quite remarkable how much distance you can get just from the right hand. So hopefully you can see from that that there's a creativity, but there's also a precision. So that shepherd boy, he then thought, well, if I can hit this far with one hand, I'll now use two hands. The same sound applies. But the ball goes further. And in doing so, it happened to go straighter. So, all of a sudden, you've got timing, you've got precision, and you've got creativity. Now, with the golf club going beyond the shepherd's crook, the golf club designed for the job, I can create a draw spin swish. I can curve the ball from right to left just by using the talent in my hands. So here we go. Ball starts to the right. And there's a swish sound, but the ball curves from right to left. And I'm just using my hands, my forearms, my fingers to feel that, just like a table tennis shot. On this shot, it's going to be a swish, but it's going to be delayed. The forearm's going to be trailing. So the ball will start left the target and the ball will move from left to right. And all I'm doing, I'm just playing around with that magic word swish. So swish gives me speed, swish gives me precision, I can have a draw spin swish, and I can have a fade spin swish. The choice is yours, but the big clue is your hands that do it. Mm -hmm.